and may the great love of the eternal presence I am that is found within the lantern of light that abides within your heart amplify its great glorious presence within each of you and may your spiritual center within your chest cavity so respond to a son's prompting and expand its great radiance out from you in all directions a blessing to all life akasha is with you precious hearts through your messenger and i love to greet the great glorious presence in each of you and i am so grateful that you take up such gentle and beautiful decrees and mantra and verse. I am truly touched by the love that I feel in your heart flame and all that you express through your voice. God bless you, precious hearts. I wish to remind you that the miracle class is dedicated to ensuring that there is that intervention that comes from on high to assist you in your resurrection. The freedom classes are a snapshot of the much greater conclaves where many of the ascended hosts come to offer their gifts to further your path of study and becoming. God bless you. I am truly grateful that we complete our miracle class studies this year with the wonderful lady Anna known to you as the grandmother of Jesus the Christ and then in November and December the great fathers of the house of David King Solomon and King David and with the great creator mothers coming to conclave in a few weeks this will open the miracle classes for 2014 in which the seven aloas shall come each month one at a time beginning with aloa amazonia and completing with aloa victory victoria as you know her and then the rest of the year the miracle classes will complete with great cosmic beings all your visitors to your miracle class next year will be great cosmic beings others of those later in the year will include the great goddess of music the goddess of venus and so forth so we have much in store for you but next year 2014 what was promised precious hearts in the october class and this is where grandmother anna and is going to assist with her expertise and remember, we start the first seven classes with the seven majestic aloha. So a lot of help to accomplish what? Do you remember, Precious Heart, the miracle series as it has been comes to a completion. We open a new collection, a new series of the miracle series. And its entire focus entire focus for 2014 is to teach you and to start having demonstrations here at class during the miracle class of your ability to take your body to take your life out of your mind as amazing as that sounds to take it right out of your mind and to deliberately, consciously, intentionally rest your body in its native element, consciousness. And of course, then you want to remember that consciousness is God. So the entire focus, and I shall not, uh, how do you say, um, waver away from this this will be the entire focus techniques practice experience so your entire life we're going to start with your body 
because your body reports and reflects so much back to you, doesn't it? And so if we can start seeing some miracle changes in your physical body, that's great, Anna says. And so, this is the theme. Just, and so I just put that before you again, just to be with that whole idea. And why? Be- why do we desire to practice taking our body, and then we'll get to other parts of our life, out of our mind? And resting those parts of ourselves in its native element for two, three minutes, consciousness. God. Why? Because duality is still acting in the mental body and is still there until the final moment of resurrection. And that occurs after the 33rd passage. And you're between the 11th and 12th passage now. So, let us not delay. Let us do something different. Let us practice, while yet duality exists there, let us practice taking our body out of our minds. Because as long as our life and our body is in our minds, our minds can operate its duality upon our body. Do you get that? So I hope you really look forward to this precious hearts. Indeed. All right. We're going to return the unseen operations of your life over to your consciousness, back to its native element. We're going to begin with the physical body. We shall state unto ourselves, I am taking back my body from the clutches of the human mind and its belief in good and evil, its belief in two powers, and I am releasing my body back into my native element, my consciousness, my spiritual consciousness. Each day, a couple of times a day, even if for a few moments, even if only three, four minutes, I will consciously release my body back into my consciousness, where my consciousness, its native element, may nurture and restore and regenerate and grow my body back into a state of perfection. In the same way that when I return a seed into its native element, that native element will nurture and feed and sustain that seed into a living tree. I will do this several times a day, at least two. I will find a favorite position of my physical body, whether it is laying down but I would suggest not even so much, definitely not standing and probably not sitting because I wish you to have a feeling that you are reclining, that you are releasing your body back into your consciousness. So sometimes, you know, you have these modern day recliners that you can lean back on. It's the idea of feeling, I suppose, many pillows on a bed could provide that, but I think you know what I mean. It's about getting the feeling that your physical body is being so supported because once you get into that position, it is for you to internalize and it's the message to your body elementals. Remember the impersonal I am and your body elementals are listening as you quietly say to yourself, Now, my intention is already set. I've already declared it. But in this moment, I am consciously working with it. 
in this moment, I am consciously releasing and participating in releasing my body back into its native element consciousness. And I say to my body now, relax, relax. I have taken you from the mind and its beliefs into powers. You are back in your native element, consciousness. And it is the I in me that saith throughout all consciousness, I am here, I am there, I am everywhere. I am the root, the branch, and the vine. Lean on me. Rest your body now in me. Consciousness. Let go. And be quiet for a few moments. Perhaps every half minute, just reminding yourself internally. I have replanted all the seeds of my body back into its native element, consciousness. And it is the very spiritual consciousness of the I that I am that is now governing, nurturing, restoring, correcting, and perfecting my body as I consciously rest my body in its native element, consciousness. Now watch the messenger's hands. There you are. You're laying down, supported by pillows or in a recliner. Everything above your shoulders is quiet. There's no activity going on in the mind. You are aware from the shoulders down. From the shoulders down, you are aware of resting your body, releasing. I am releasing my body back into consciousness. I at the center of my consciousness declares, lean on me. I am the fountain of your life. I am God, the ground in which you are rooted in. I am Christ, the tree of your life, and you are my branches. Rest your body in your consciousness now. Three, four minutes. It will not be long before what you feel in your body is like rivers of refreshing waters feeding and nurturing your body. And every place that is tightly wound up in your body, rivers of spring waters of everlasting life of the mother rushes through. And you feel new wonders in youth. And dear hearts, I guarantee you, you will come to the point where you will have to say to yourself, now as wonderful as this feels, you've got an appointment to get to, you've got work to go to, you will come to love 
And the more you love the experience, then the mirror will no longer betray you. You will see the most magnificent reflection. This is just the beginning. I will watch you. Anna will watch you. And wherever we feel it is appropriate, matters not the class or the event, we will speak into you the next piece, if we need to, between the miracle classes. Do you have enough to go on today? Will you offer a wave of love from your heart? This too, precious heart, has always been a part of the divine plan. There is a part of you that knew the time would come. That the idea of being able to release your life, step at a time, starting with your body, from the clutches of a mind that yet engages duality. You knew the idea that the time would come where it was actually possible. Wait till we get beyond your body. Wait till we take your money and supply from the clutches of your mind. I love our vocals today. <laughs> wait, wait till we release your, your talent and creativity from the clutches of your mind. You know that belief that there's only one or two here and there that's talented. You know that that is a natural gift to everyone's life. She is here. May you offer the love of your heart to her grace, the beloved Lady Nana, Anna, known to you as Grandmother of Jesus the Christ. I thank you, precious hearts.